Dean, the tissue arrived. Oh, so many. <laughs> so many sheets. this work? It like flips up. Look at this. It must touch the ink. And welcome to another studio vlog. So, last night I unboxed the new tissue that I got from No Issue. And I'm super, super excited because I ordered two. I ordered the Halloween paper and the Christmas paper, which I'll show you in a little bit. And I also ordered a little stamp. So, No Issue actually gifted me uh, the stamp and some stickers and some of the tissue paper, but I actually purchased the remainder of the tissue paper because I wanted to do like Halloween and Christmas holiday themed tissue paper for you guys for when you purchase an order in the store. And I'm super happy with how they've turned out. They're so, so freaking cute. I'm gonna show you exactly what they look like. Mike's been using them. He loves the Halloween uh, paper and everything. I'll show you in a little bit. We'll package some orders to see what they'll look like exactly. Anyway, now I've just finished filming a Patreon Q&A and I'm just about to edit it. And this vlog, I to get to work on some new products and fingers crossed, that some products like the bookmarks arrive in this vlog so we can do an unboxing of the new bookmarks that have arrived. I don't think the memo pads will arrive in time, but fingers crossed they do. Anyway, I'm gonna actually make some lunch now because it's pretty late now, it's 20 past one, and our floor has finally got a microwave over in the communal kitchen, so I'm gonna make myself some lunch. Let's get into the studio vlog, shall we? Oh my goodness, the new bookmarks arrived. We've got a restock of the Oreo, the bee, the tea ones, and Satsuma the cat, but then we have spooky Halloween bookmark. It's a little cute Halloween one and I posted a TikTok and an Instagram reels. I've just opened a new TikTok account and look how cute this is. Look at the little characters. And then we also have the Froggo and Bear one made into a bookmark as well and he turned out super cute. Oh look at this. So adorable and I just wanted to show you the no issue paper so I'm actually going to be releasing. Oh my little peaches fell off. There you go, little guy. It's definitely gonna... Oh, man. Uh, I need to take photos of all these products. The memo pads haven't arrived yet, but it is October the 1st, and I'm so last minute. But I thought I would show you the tissue paper that arrived. So this is the pattern that I got from No Issue. Super, super pretty. As I say, some of this was gifted, but the rest I paid for. But one of the gifted things that they sent were these cute stickers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop these up individually and we're gonna put these in orders as freebies until stocks last. And it's just this cute little pumpkin. So no issue gifted me them, so thank you very much. And I wanted to show you what the package looked like because Dean's just finished uh, packaging an order and we changed the little package labels to say, uh, to match the tissue paper. So package was loved by Dean, but look how nice the tissue looks. We've also got the Christmas tissue paper, which for some reason is way thinner than the Halloween paper. I'm not sure why, I must have ordered it wrong or something, but it just says you the best and it's got um, ginger and spice on here and it's got catnip and it's got some little um, Christmas puddings. But we're not going to be using that until 
Christmas season, like hallow um, after Halloween. I actually ordered quite a lot of this, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, I'm thinking I'm gonna pack these up and sell them. Let's just get into the working day, shall we? So last night I pretty much spent the night till about 10pm kind of listening to Walt Disney, it was super cosy, I packaged a lot of the tissue paper and you've probably seen what I did, I made mouse mats and everything. Today I actually went and got my hair done, it's a very strange colour at the minute, I'm going back blonde but I'm kind of in that weird phase of um being like that weird in between the colour so I'm kind of like blonde at the minute like blondie brown. It is now catnip toba or ink toba. I have some prompts over on Instagram. You can find them on my highlights and on my main feed if you guys want to check it out and it's daily drawing prompts. So I'm going to get to work on today's drawing prompts and then we're going to package some orders. Thank you so so much. If you guys made the launch it was kind of rushed a little bit because every year I have launched my Halloween products a little too late and with it being the first yesterday I was like right I just really need to get this launch underway and get it out for the 1st of October so we did that and it went super super well so thank you so much I will be doing orders but first of all let's get the iPad out I'm gonna actually tie my hair up because it's like that floppy feeling from when you first get your hair done and it like flops everywhere so let's just get to work on illustrating shall we I got to tell you guys the other day I bought a new printer so I've actually bought a laser colour printer I had one before uh, a while ago and I ended up giving it away because I never used it <laughs> and now I kind of regret it because it wasn't very good to be honest the print quality wasn't very good it wasn't good enough for products or anything but I've actually bought this so that I can start making my own nail decal so if you guys will have seen I started making my own nail, nail decals using my inkjet printer but I had to seal them 
and there was just a lot of steps going into place. I had to make sure they were sealed and we didn't have proper ventilation and everything. So I've invested in the Colour LaserJet Pro M454 DW, which I'll be trying out in the next couple of days, hopefully, and making a new fresh set of nail decals. So maybe get Dean to set it up for me. I did something for the studio and I bought some floodlights and I didn't actually realise how big they were going to be. We've literally got two right now and we've got it on the orange setting but you can literally put different colour settings. It comes with like a little remote, I've just had my lunch too. It comes like with this remote but I really wanted it. Hello, focus please. I really wanted to add like ambiance to the room. They're not staying down here at each side. We've got one on this side and just one down there at the moment. Although it's not doing it justice really at the moment because it's still really bright. Uh, but it's quite bright. They're actually going to be put up there because up at the top of the ceiling here there is a plug. And I want them to kind of shine on the ceiling and we can change the colour depending on the seasons and the mood. At the moment the orange, because obviously we've got awesome vibes going on in the studio, actually saying that Dean's put Christmas music on. <laughs> I can't even believe it. But yeah, we've got the autumn vibes going on, we've got the floodlight, so it should add some nice ambiance to the room. It's quite anticlimactic. I was expecting it to be a little brighter than this, but hopefully when the it gets dark, which it does, it gets a lot darker earlier here in the UK. So later on I'll show you what they look like. But now also on my lips it's come off. I'm so sorry about that. But now I'm going to get to work on some orders. So let's get to work shall we? Also look at all these mouse mats. So many thank you so so much and we've got another 37 to print too and some Halloween ones here as well. Let's get to work on these.
it's funny because I'm wrapping the wrapping paper in the wrapping paper. <laughs> it's like wrapping paper inception. Okay, it's getting darker and the lights are in their full glory. It's like Halloween town in here. Okay, back to orders. To Walter, and Walt agreed to a meeting. When Hub came to Walt's office in Burbank, Walt greeted him reservedly for court. Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. So Yesterday we pretty much worked till 9pm and got lots and lots of orders done but today I actually wanted to sit down and talk to you guys before this vlog finishes about counterfeit items. I get asked this a lot and today has probably been one of the worst days for counterfeit items when I found out when a big company, Shein, is actually selling some of my counterfeit designs. Now it is so so heartbreaking and I'll put some screen grabs on the screen so you can see the real versus fake you can see from these images that the fakes are clearly a lot more poorer quality than the designs that i get made and i know a lot of you guys actually reach out to me if you find a counterfeit design i have a lot of you guys having my back and saying there's a design here and a design here and then we go through the process of sending a cease and desist letter dean is currently in the background sending a cease and desist letter to Shein right now whether anything will come of it i don't know king catherine here so we actually got a response from Shein since i recorded this video and they removed the items thanks to you guys i posted this quick story to explain it over on my instagram so after finding multiple counterfeit pins being sold on Shein and you guys allow me to get their attention, you're amazing by the way, Shein actually replied and I was pretty happy with the result. It looks like they've actually bought wholesale from another manufacturer who is counterfeiting the pins. We're hoping to get to the bottom of it and see who this manufacturer is and cease the trading of the counterfeit pins. But I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to you all for supporting our small business. You really are the best. But unfortunately, we have just found another fake pin on Shein, so I'm currently in the process of trying to get that removed. As of now, it is still live. It's kind of a semi-win, but at the moment, it kind of just feels like you're chasing your own tail at this point. Anyway, back to past Catherine. I just want to share the experience with you guys so that you don't support and think that those pins are official catnip pins because they're not. There's a few other places that my designs are being ripped off. One is Wish. Uh, they're actually using and stealing my actual photos with catnip on them. And then they're also copying all my titles from Etsy. I don't sell anywhere at the moment other than my Etsy shop. And then it will be sold from my direct shop catnip Com, which is coming in the future. I just wanted to talk a little bit about this because I have had this message a few times from fellow artists asking me how I go about it, how I feel about it and what do I do to not be disheartened from it. So not being disheartened from it, it's very very hard to do each and every time I find a new pin or a new character because to me it's more than just a pin design it's the actual character that I've got an attachment to I sit down and I make these cute characters and in my head they've got their own personalities and their own uh, kind of little world going on like pudding the dog and I sit down and I create more than just a pin they often appear in like little comic strips or stories or on other products but it's basically a character that I'm creating to share with you guys who you might find cute and funny and hopefully that it puts a smile on your face so every time I see like a company ripping these characters off without a second glance just for a few extra quid in the pocket really really does break my heart and I've seen a lot of other artists go through this as well. I do try not dwell on it too much. I do all the steps like sending a cease and desist letter and reporting their item. Sometimes it falls on deaf ears but normally I just keep that under wraps but now I'm sick of keeping it under wraps and I'm going to share it with you guys because you guys might think that buying it from these companies is supporting me in some way. Those items aren't licensed and those items aren't official, they are counterfeit items. It definitely does hurt my feelings and it really does break my heart each and every time, but I know that I have 
an amazing community out there looking out for me just these these pins for example were actually sent to me by one of you guys and thank you so so much i don't know it just it does break my heart i try not to dwell on the uncontrollable and i thought i would share this with you because you have been watching my journey from beginning in my bedroom to where i am now and growing as an artist and this is what's happened and it's kind of fun to share the experience the highs and the lows and I thought I should share this with you so we can document this together and see right I got to this point and then this started getting ripped off but to be completely honest my designs got ripped off even when I was super 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 small scale and only had a couple of thousand followers on Instagram now I'm still relatively small scale I am not making a fraction of the amount that these big companies produce in revenue every year not even a little smidge so it is disheartening because it's all just about the money and it, it just leaves a sour taste in my mouth because to me it's more than just the money obviously we need the money to sustain the life and sustain the career as an artist and we need those that money to pay the bills and that comes in the form of merchandise but really it's more than just the money for me and it always has been i want to create a world and some characters and i've got a lot of great ambitions for catnip but i can't get there without having some some revenue behind me and it's more about the feeling that I, I get to give to you guys. I feel like catnip has now become more than just me, it's not just me behind it, it's become this great community of like-minded people who want to just enjoy life as much as they can and make the world just a teeny tiny bit brighter through cuteness and through fun and through colour and just putting a smile on your face with cute little chubby characters. So yeah I just wanted to share this obstacle that I've come across with you guys. I've been sharing this journey right from the very beginning so it's only right that I share uh, the laws as well. I do tend to kind of not really talk about this as much because I don't like like I say dwelling on it. I like to just move on, keep going, keep my head above the wall and keep sailing towards the goal and the dream. I feel like I would be disingenuous if I didn't share this experience with you because it is a normal experience as an artist, unfortunately, to get your work plagiarised or ripped off. I've, I know a lot of artists out there. But I'm going to keep staying strong. I'm going to keep creating beautiful characters. I'm going to keep making the characters that have been ripped off. I'm not going to stop doing that. They belong to catnip and they will stay in the catnip world. I'll keep growing the catnip world and we'll just sail in the little boat together onwards and keep going north and seeing what we stumble across in the meantime and sharing this journey with you as well. I just wanted to say a huge huge thank you to you guys as well from being here whether it's virtually, physically through purchasing an item or just watching the videos or liking or uh, just following me on Instagram. It really really does mean the world. Catnip has become a beautiful community and I literally cannot wait to see how we're going to go ahead with the business and what's going to happen in the future and I'm going to share it with you every single step of the way so let's all get in the little catnip adventure boat together and sail onwards and upwards and keep sailing forward and seeing what island we come across next. Thank you so freaking much for being here and for watching. I love you. Come on.